generally the first thing to be cut is agencies, contractors, and everything. I mean, they shore up all, all outgoing revenue. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Start a brand new week. Yes. Everybody's ready for it. Actually, we we woke up really early. Josh was up at 4:45, and then he got me up at 5:30. Yeah. So we've been ready for the day. And it's seven right now, and we're on our way to our coffee shop to work our office, our remote co-working space. <laughs> Getting ready to take on the day. Yes. All the necessities. Laptop, headphones, notebook, charger. Coffee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is our one of our go-to outside spots. We either sit inside there or we sit out here. Oh, yeah. Or even right here. Yeah. Sometimes the sun is kind of hitting that one when it's coming up in the morning, but. So yeah. Wow, we got some funny news. Not really funny news, but... Unfortunate news, yeah. Josh and I have been talking about like slow and steady and doing things the right way when it comes to business, you know, growing brands, like not buying followers, not doing, you know, shady things like that. Not, nothing that's like growth at all costs. Anything that puts your puts your business or your brand in a fragile state. I mean, there is this company that back when we first started doing agency work, kind of phasing out the agency work. We only have one client that we still maintain a good relationship with. Yeah. I, I used to work with. But other than that, we're not taking on any new clients. And so when we were doing the agency stuff, there was this company that I used to look at and be like, man, their model's sweet. They're really doing a, they're really successful. They were primarily targeting startups. It was two young founders. They had a team of 400 people. 400 people. 400 people doing 20, over $20 million a year. And they were a company out of Australia, but they had offices in New York and in India and all this stuff. And so I was like, my gosh, as an agency, that's what you would want to be, right? You're that's something, that's like aspirational. I want to have a company that has 400 employees of offices all over the world that's doing... Gets to work with the coolest startups and that was their mm -hmm. primary model was startup. Brand new people with ideas. They had like the startup accelerator with people ideas and they would turn them into um, actual apps and websites and whatever. So long story short, well, a while ago, we decided we didn't want to build an agency. We wanted to build a product company, and that's really where we started off with DocSpace, and we started off with the auto group, and we've since pivoted to service industry, primarily targeting fire and life safety. Well, today, <laughs> because of those risks, because of like we knew service work was in the agency world. Hold on. One of the reasons why we steered away from an agency model was because it was volatile. We felt the pressure of where was the next job going to come from, where was the next client going to come, how were we going to keep bringing clients in the door. So it's always this revolving door of clients, right? And that's hard to maintain, especially when you have a large staff, you have to maintain that payroll. But if you want to take on more jobs because you're selling hours, you have to hire more people because you have need more hours to sell. We didn't like that model. And so even though we were making really good money at the time, we decided we wanted to go into the product world where we could sell software instead of hours. Well, today Today, we found out that Appster, this one that we were originally using back when we were trying to build the agency. Because they also had really great content. They had great content. The founders were obviously very talented. Well, we just found out that they just liquidated. They're out of business. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that that was funny because that's not funny. It's not funny. But, <laughs> like, you know what I'm seeing? It's kind of like that sucks. You know what yeah. I mean? But, like, you know what I mean? And I know what you mean. Yeah. But it's, they had $20 million in revenue, 400 people. 
They were like, grow, 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 go fast, go fast. They had sales teams, they had everything. And they were apparently, supposedly doing everything right, but now looking back, there were a few and major mistakes. I think that's where I said, oh, it's funny because it, we look at companies like that and think that they're doing everything right and we compare what we're doing to them and why aren't we growing as fast, as fast, as fast, or yeah. doing all this sort of stuff when in reality that's not always the best way to do it. And that's not the best way to run a company. Yeah. So it's it's just funny because what, what a lot of times what we think is successful and what is working isn't actually working and isn't going to turn out to be some big successful company for the longevity. Yes. Josh always talks about growing a business for, you know, forever, for 20, 50, hundreds of years. You know, yeah. hopefully you can keep going, <laughs> pass, yeah. pass along to, you know, I think sometimes in the tech space, a lot of people are looking for the quick buck and the money and that's not that's not what we're trying to do. Yeah. And that's not what we're about, especially when we talk about business. Yeah. Be very careful about what you're doing. Always build for sustainability. Don't be naive and think that just because you have great clients now, especially if you're a freelancer or if you're in the agency space, that those clients are going to be around forever. Oh my gosh, the that's moment so true. They fall on financial hard time, financially hard times. Generally, the first thing to be cut is agencies, contractors, and everything. I mean, they shore up all all outgoing revenue. And so, just be prepared, be careful, especially because of the times we're in. The economy's good. You need to educate yourself on what the economy looks like, what are these really these kind of um, potentially upcoming recessions. You know, we've been in the economic boom for, what, 10 years now, which has been the longest in history ever um, since the housing market crash. And so people are like, it could happen next year, it could happen in two years from now. We don't know. All we know is that we've been riding it the longest we've ever had in the history of mankind. And if you think that's not gonna affect your freelancing business or your client base, or even if you have a product company, your customers that are using your product, then you're gonna be sadly mistaken and surprised everybody gets impacted by that that's i believe what happened to appster especially because there's supposedly an ec economic recession coming over the next years people probably stopped doing as much work probably started to try and hold cash and plan for this dry season and which cut all of their revenue they said it cut their revenue in half the work dried up and they couldn't maintain their pay maintain payroll and expenses and that's why they shut down and so learn from that learn from that stay lean don't be spending $50,000 on an office space. You, I mean, really, the reason why we're all remote is because we're a small team, so we wouldn't need a big office, but it's just an absolutely unnecessary expense, especially if you're a software company. Just be smart, stay educated about what's going on in the economy, and adjust your business to survive in the hardest times. Because once hard times hits and you're trying to adjust to that and you weren't expecting it and you weren't prepared for it, then it's gonna be a surprise because maybe you're looking at signing a new lease that's twice as expensive and you're planning on all this growth over the next two years. I'm not saying the growth won't happen, but the economy affects everybody. And again, not thinking that it's gonna impact you or your business is naive. So be smart, make wise decisions, ride it out and <laughs> don't put yourself in a difficult position it's always good to be financially prepared for the worst regardless of the season yeah those are our thoughts you guys don't be abster yeah don't be abster we're gonna get back to work because it's still it's not even 10 a.m you guys those are some big heavy thoughts for the morning time yeah <laughs> marinate on that for yeah <laughs> all right got my shades on because the sun is out today it feels really good cloud in the sky. Spent all day working outside and we got, I got a bunch done, Josh got a bunch done. Yep. I got to talk with this super old, cute little old man, he's 86 and he used to work for the military, well, doing all sorts of kind of crazy stuff and built in the aerospace and defense industry. Yes. It's like nuclear, he like used to work on nuclear missiles that nobody even knows about. Um, nuclear missile defense systems and stuff like that. And he got a ride on planes that were like propeller planes back in the day. And it, that's what he was telling me about today. And he's like, oh, this was back when Delta, you would board a Delta <laughs> plane on stairs. And as you were going in, they would hand you a three pack of cigarettes, three cigarettes 
pack and a thing of matches and like that's, that's so crazy. And that's what you would get when you would board an airplane. And he's like just totally different times. Oh, I can't even believe that. Like we can't even fathom that, but yeah, it was, it was really cool. But um, we are off to the store. We're gonna get some salad, some more salad. Well, some salad stuff. Green. Oh, that's green. Josh always stops at green lights, you guys. It's really funny. Yo, Waymo, come on. We need a <laughs> consumer vehicle yeah. to drive itself. I'm like, a distracted driver. There's no doubt about it. Probably doesn't help that I always have this in your face. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Off to the store. There he is. Mr. Running Man. <laughs> Just putting together supplements for the week. Yes. All the subs. You just did a, what, a three mile run? Just a three miler. It's so beautiful right now. There's this like, beautiful breeze outside, you guys. Right There's now. not a cloud in the sky. There's not. Now it's time for lunch. And now I am about to go for a run, too. So, I'm gonna head out. Josh is gonna eat. I'm gonna go for a quick run. Perks of working remote. Oh you get to gosh. run whenever you want. It's amazing. And it's like perfect. It's so breezy out. And it's supposed to actually get hotter. Like as the day goes on, obviously. So it's the coolest it is right now, which is like normally peak heat of the day, but it's backwards so it's today perfect. for some reason. Alright, so I'm gonna go for a run. He's gonna eat. He'll probably stay with you guys. Whew, alright. I just finished my run. It's hot, but there's also this like perfect breeze. Oh, I felt so good. I did about a little over five miles. And it is only Okay, it's 3.30. So I still have the rest of the day to work. What's up, you guys? Check out all this stuff. Check these out. We are going to Josh's family's house for Easter. And so, of course, I'm going to make desserts. And I'm going to be making carrot cake truffles. And this car goes off all the time. Okay, stop. And I'll be making regular truffles. But right now, here he is. Her truffles are so good. Or my family is obsessed with them. Yeah, well, I mean, they're super easy to make. They're pretty tedious. But anybody can make them. But I'll be making those later this week. But right now, we are going to eat. So we are going to end today's vlog. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we're going to be doing another early morning tomorrow. So, mm -hmm. looking forward to seeing you guys there. Yeah, and you guys gotta have some good advice from this man. Mm -hmm. So, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Boop, 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 boop. And of course, subscribe to our channel below. Bye, guys. See ya.